Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In this first lecture of uh, this course, I just want to inform you that you require for uh, the CCNA course to do labs. That means you have to have hands-on labs because when you want to do the exam for the CCNA, you will get the questions also about the labs. So you have simulation and you really need to configure. And also throughout the, the whole course uh, that I'm uh, going to teach you about the CCNA volume one, I'm going to do a lot of labs. So you have to repeat those labs labs uh, yourself as well and uh, to do that there are different ways that you can do the labs i'm just showing you here the four different ways where you can uh, use the uh, labs or the softwares that uh, you can use to them to be able to uh, make the labs and i'm going to show you one which i recommended which is the last one the cisco packet tracer so the first way to do the labs is to have real physical Cisco hardware. So that means you have the Cisco routers, you have the Cisco switches, and you have the cables, you have the computer, you have everything, and then you connect everything together to be able to do the labs. That's one of the options that you can do the uh, labs. Now, the thing with the physical hardware is that you require to have them. So that means if you have them, that's fine. You don't pay anything. But if you don't have them, you have to buy them or maybe you can rent a rack online to be able to configure the labs. Or maybe you can uh, get them uh, from a lease from your uh, company. For example, if they have a lot of hardware, you can just take some to your home to be able to practice the lab. In case you don't have them and you really want to do all the labs on physical hardware, I'm just going to show you that, for example, if you go to eBay, so let me just show you if you go to eBay and uh, on eBay, you can just search for CCNA lab. So you will see that you have a lot of offers like this one, for example, it's saying that you get, we see here three uh, routers and uh, two switches by 162 euro. Of course, that's some money, but uh, in case you really want to do the labs on physical hardware, then you can buy them, I would say from eBay, but you can also buy them from any other websites. But I'm just giving you an example like what you can uh, expect. So you can see these are uh, five uh, equipments with their cables. You can see all cables and you can scroll down. You can see what uh, you have here. Maybe you, you choose the better price and you can buy them. So that's one option. But again, this is something it costs you some money. The second way to uh, make the labs is to use the Cisco VIRL, which is Virtual Internet Routing Lab. What is this? This is uh, made by Cisco and it will allow you to emulate labs. So you can create the virtual labs and uh, you can do the practice that same as you are working on real Cisco equipment. So if you want to get uh, uh, access to the VIRL, you have to pay also for it. So if you want, you can go to virl.cisco.com and over here this is uh, the Cisco Virtual Internet Routing Lab so it is on the Cisco website now you can uh, check here all the information that uh, you want and in case uh, you think that you want really to buy it so just uh, click on get virl and it will uh, take you to the page here and you see this cost 199 us dollars then you have access to this one but you see if you go to it so just go inside to this you see that you have access for 365 days that's more than enough to prepare for the ccna i would say 365 days is more than enough and uh, you should have an account on cisco website to be able to buy this one but you can see here it's saying to you that uh, these uh, cisco modeling labs allow you to create models and scenarios use Cisco IOS network operating system, routers and switches, connect virtual and physical environment, add nodes, start and view packet uh, capture. So you can see you can have really a lot of uh, things you can do on the VIRL and a lot of network engineers use that. And uh, you see here that uh, this will support the following images, IOS uh, V, IOS uh, V layer 2 and uh, the Nexus and the ASA as well over here. So you see that uh, you can use it really to do a lot of uh, things but that's more than for the ccna i would say because for ccna you don't require all those things like asa is not part of the ccna for example the nexus also so uh, that's fine if you want for example to continue your study after the ccna to go to the higher level having this uh, the virl that's also a nice thing to do now the third thing that you can do also is to use the gns3 gns3 is an emulator that means 
It will emulate for you the Cisco iOS. You will gain access to the Cisco iOS as you are really working on real equipment. All right, so GNS3 is a software free of charge. You can download it for free. But the problem is that you require to have valid Cisco iOS image. So you really need to have Cisco iOS image to run on GNS3. And uh, to get those images, this will cost also you some money. So uh, that's also a solution in case you have already some Cisco iOS images, then you can just download GNS3 and then after you download it, you install it and then you connect uh, those iOS images to the GNS3 and it works perfectly. And uh, I can show you that if we go to the website of GNS3. So we can go to gns3.com. So here is the website of GNS3. You can see you can do a free download. You can just download it, but also there are a lot of things that you can read here, like the documentation, if you want to know how to run the GNS3, and uh, there are also community here, and uh, they have uh, here the software that uh, you can also watch some videos if you want to know how to use the GNS3. So this is also a nice way to do, and here they put the minimum requirement that uh, you require to have a separate system, processor, memory, and so forth. And uh, GNS3, a lot of engineers use it, because it's uh, free, but you only need to have the uh, Cisco iOS image, but then you can run an environment and uh, you can just connect the routers and you can put switches and uh, you can run everything on one computer without having physical hardware. And what it does, it just emulate the uh, iOS. So it doesn't uh, just make simulation, but it will emulate. That means you will gain the a real access uh, on the Cisco iOS as you are working on physical hardware. And the last thing that I want to show you is to use the Cisco Packet Tracer. And this is, I just put it here, it's recommended. Why it is recommended? Because one, it is made by Cisco. So Cisco is the creator of this uh, simulation software. Two, it's free of charge. You can get it for free. And the, the good thing that I'm going to show you in this video, how you can get the Cisco Packet Tracer. So if you go to the browser and uh, you go to google.com and over here, you can just try Cisco Packet Tracer download. So we are going to download it, but in a valid way. Okay, because Cisco, they allow us to download it. And then we can go to this one, the www.netacademy.com. That's a website for Cisco. So we go to there, you see that's the Network Academy of Cisco. Now, if you scroll down here, you can read a lot of things. And here they show you, this is the online self uh, uh, Based. So this is Intro to Packet Tracer. This is a course that you can register in. It's for free. You can just register to it. You don't have to watch the course. It's 10 hours, actually, the course. But uh, once you register to it, you can download the Packet Tracer. So if you want, let's uh, go to it inside of it. And you see this is the introduction to Packet Tracer. You see the lens is 10 hours. It costs free. And this is for beginning. And you have these languages, the English. I think this is uh, Russian, maybe. And uh, what you need to do now is just to sign up here and click on English. Now, if you do have already an account on Cisco or on Cisco Network Academy, you can just log in directly. But let me just show you that once you make sign up in case you don't have an account and you click on English, then all you need to do is to put your first name, your last name and your email. And then on this email, they will send you the activation link then you go to your email, you click on this thing, and then you follow what they are saying to you, and then you enroll in this course. Now, I do already have an account on uh, uh, Cisco, so I will go directly to my account. So I will uh, log in. So you can see that uh, this uh, login is uh, on the Cisco website. And I will put my password. So I'm redirected now. And here we go. So I'm inside my uh, uh, account here. Here, what you can do, you can just go to uh, courses and uh, let's check all courses. And uh, we go down, you see that there are a lot of courses that you, you may be able to get to them. So let's search for it from Packet Tracer. So this one, Intro to Packet Tracer. And uh, I will go to it. 
And now, once I am here, I will say sign up today. But because I do have already the account, then I should be able to sign out directly. So here we go. You have successfully enrolled in the introduction to Packet Tracer English. Very good. So now what I need to do, I just have to go to the course, launch course. All right. So in uh, this course now, you can, if you want to watch everything, that's fine because that's uh, a course by itself and it gives you a certificate of uh, course completion. So that's uh, possible. But what is important is to go to resources here and here you can go to download packet tracer. All right. So the packet tracer is more than enough to be able to follow the CCNA. And over here on download packet tracer, we can go here and over here. You can see this is for Windows. You have 64 bits or 2 bits. This is for the Linux in case you have Linux operating system. And this is for the Mac operating system. So in my case, I'm using Windows. So I just click on 64 bit download. And you see that the pack tracer is uh, having a size of 145 megabytes. So uh, let's wait uh, a minute or so until I have this software downloaded on my computer. And then we are going to install it and to show you a little bit about it. All right. So the file has been already downloaded and you can see it is over here on my uh, desktop. So let's go to it just to install it. And uh, I will show you once we do the installation, how you can use the packet tracers. So I will say next, next, next. And you can see it's a matter of just saying next, next, next. And then you will see that it's installed. This is the latest version of the packet tracer, Cisco Packet tracer, because they had a lot of uh, versions. So uh, once you enroll in uh, their course, you have the latest uh, version. And if you want to know more about packet tracer, you can also watch the course because you are already enrolled to it and it's for free. So why not? You can also watch, but I don't think you really need that. I will just show you that directly right now, what you can do with the packet tracer. So let's see, would you like to run multi-user when application start? Not really, so and now this is the packet tracer. So let's put it here. So this is the packet tracer. You would require here to log in again. So please put your username and password that you have created. I'll put mine. All right, very good. So now, once I'm uh, now connected to the pack tracer, here it is. So you see that uh, you have uh, here a lot of things that you can do, and this is more than enough for the CCNA. Again, for CCNA, you don't require more than this. So let's take, for example, a Cisco router here, which is uh, 2,900, and another one as well. So you can see drop and drop, and, uh, and that's it. And now what you can do is just make the connection. You can take here the straight uh, through cable, I would say that I wanted to connect it from gigabit zero over zero to gigabit zero over zero from the second router. And that's it. Now we can go over here. What you can do, you can, uh, for example, change uh, things that uh, we can add here slots uh, for this router. That is the back end of the router. And here is the, the configuration. And here you can see that is the command line. So can just click enter and you can see here on the router for example i know that you don't have experience on uh, configuring the router but just to show you something very fast so let's go to the enable mode and then configure terminal please ignore what i'm doing now it's just uh, to show you that i can ping uh, to the router so uh, i will go to the interface gigabit zero over zero ip address 192.168.12 for example dot one 255.255.255.0 and here I say no shutdown. So this is uh, this router is configured. I will go to the second router and also I'll go to the configure terminal and here I will say no. And uh, let's configure this one also. This interface gigabit zero over zero, which is connected to the first router, and then I will put an IP address 192.168.12.2. 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. So now, if I ping from this router to the second one, you see ping 192.168.12.1. We will see in a moment that we have a ping reply. You see, that's a ping reply. So just to show you a very simple lab that I put IP addresses on each of the router and I ping to each other, 
then they can ping to each other without any problem. So this is the Cisco Packet Tracer. I highly advise you to be able to follow this course because it's for free. You can use it and uh, you can do a lot of uh, more things as well. So here you can see this is the uh, routers and then you can also see here for the switches as well. You can just uh, choose the switch you want. You can have end devices. So you, you have the uh, uh, connectors here. These are the components that you can use. So you can see you have the cloud. So I really advise you to use this uh, packet tracer it's free of charge it is more than enough for the ccna and then it can do all the work that you want but also once you do a lab what you can do you can save the lab as well so you can just save uh, by just going here to save as and then you save this lab so you can open it later so this is what i wanted to show you in this uh, first lecture is uh, what you can uh, use as uh, softwares or as physical uh, hardwares to be able to do the labs for the ccna so i have showed you that you can use first thing the physical hardware but that costs you some money but also that's really one of the best options in case you have the physical hardware then no problem you can follow this course yourself well, with the physical hardware you can do all the configuration you want without any problem two is to use the virl that is also provided by cisco it's a way to emulate the cisco images then you can make the labs that's also a good one but that's cost some money and you don't have access all the time so you have 365 days that means one year that uh, you can use the VIRL. The second option is to use the GNS3 with the Cisco IOS image. GNS3 is for free. Cisco IOS image, you need to buy them to be able to use them with GNS3. But also, the way to connect GNS3 and Cisco IOS image is not uh, very easy. So, you require to do some work for that. So, that option is also a good one. But in case you just have the Cisco IOS images and you already know about uh, how to use GNS3. The last one which I recommended, uh, which is to use the Cisco Packet Tracer, I have showed you how you can get uh, uh, the course of the Cisco Packet Tracer to enroll to it. And then once you enroll to it, then you can download the Cisco Packet Tracer for free. And that's really one of the best options that I recommended for you to follow this course and to also be prepared for the Cisco CCNA exam. So this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lectures.